choosing the right Kamado grill. I'm Dennis Linkletter, owner and creator of Komodo Kamado Grills. Welcome to my home in Bali, Indonesia. Today I'm going to talk to you about the different grill sizes. I have their grates made up without handles on them so we can, we can visually compare them. But the first thing you have to ask yourself is how am I going to use this? Am I going to be smoking only on it? I already have an Argentinian grill. Am I going to be smoking and grilling? Am I going to be primarily grilling and smoking on the weekends? Because if you're only going to be smoking on it, the 21, 22, and 23 have great capacity as a smoker because you're cooking on multiple levels. If you need to grill for more than four people, it's a little challenging because you're, you're going to lose the outside three, four inches of the grill and the sweet spot is only directly up from the charcoal. So we have the three smokers, I like to call them, that you can grill on, 21, 22, and 23. And we have the 32, 38, and 42 are grill size that you can smoke on. And so let's go through and talk about the different grills. Okay, so this is my main grate for the 19 inch little Isla tabletop. And it's sitting on top of my 21 inch Supreme. So this is the 21, this is the 19. You can see the difference here. You gotta remember that for grilling, it's straight up heat from the charcoal. So you're gonna lose about three inches around the outside from where the firebox is because the charcoal basket's in the middle. So this has a sweet spot about this big on the main grate. So this is for a tabletop grill. This is the 19. So this is a full-size standing grill. This is the 21 inch Supreme. And it's sitting on top of the 22. So you can see there's not a whole lot of difference between these two, but this is the first size grill that you can set a full size brisket on and a full rack of ribs without cutting them down. You can't do that on the 19. So the 21 standing is the smallest grill that you can really do all the traditional cooks with. And this gives you an idea on that size. This is the 21 inch Supreme. This is the 22 inch tabletop. And this is a, a full size grill. We call it the beast because from the floor of the, or from the tabletop to the lip, it's the same distance as our full size standing grill. So it's not a compromise, but this is uh, the 22 inch tabletop. And uh, it has quite a bit of capacity. This is the original Komodo, Komodo that I made. This is the 23 inch, 21 inches front to back. And as a smoker, it has great capacity. You can cook on three different levels, or it has three levels. You can put your drip pan on the bottom and cook on two levels. So as a smoker, it has great capacity, but for grilling, you're still challenged if you're trying to grill for a family. So this is the, the largest of my smokers that you can grill on. That's the 23 inch. Now this is the 32 inch, and I call this a grill because it's 22 inches front to back, like a full-size gas grill. 32 inches is actually the smallest full-size gas grill, you know, that's 22 inches front to back. And this gives you a ton of territory. This is, this is a, a, a great size for grilling. And most people actually grill more than they smoke. So, so this is a 32 inch. Now, in between the 32, and the 42 was such a big jump, it was a 10 inch jump. I thought it might not be a bad idea to build a 38. So this is a 38 inch grate. And uh, these, these come in three pieces. The, the 38 will come in three pieces like the 42. And uh, as you see, it, it, it is considerably smaller than the 42 which is, of course, this is the serious big bad, 42 inches left to right, 22 inches front to back. It's a monster. It has by far the most territory of any Kamado grill. And so I think this shows you uh, pretty clearly how big these are. I hope this gives you a good idea of the size of the grates and the capacity of the different grills. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Or of course, always feel free to give me a call. Happy to talk to you.